Hello, I'm Sharad Ratish and today I'm going to be explaining the difference between healthy gums and disease gums. Firstly, what is the function of our gums? They provide protection and anchorage for our teeth. When, these, when there's any problem with the gums, it may eventually even lead to tooth loss. So, a common question I have from my patients is, why do my gums bleed? There's no short answer to this. In fact, there are many reasons. But let me start off with explaining what a healthy gum is first of all. This patient brushes twice a day and floss at least once a day. You see these gums are pink and they have sharp edges and they don't bleed. So important way to remember is healthy gums do not bleed. Now, if this patient would stop brushing and flossing, dental plaque which was being removed before would be allowed to build up and this would solidify, irritating the gums. Once these gums get irritated, they become inflamed and start to bleed. This is what's known as gingivitis. When you have gingivitis, you can see the inflammation of the gums here, a slight change from pink to reddish, and they'll bleed when brushing. This is usually noted at night time when you brush and you spit out the toothpaste and you see blood. Now, the good thing about gingivitis is it's reversible, meaning if you see a dentist at the right time, we can revert your teeth back to the healthy state they were by doing a professional clean. If gingivitis is left untreated, it will progress to what's known as periodontitis. A quick disclaimer, the next picture I'm going to show you is a bit graphic. So for those of you with uneasy stomachs, brace yourself. The reason why I'm showing it is because it clearly depicts what periodontitis is. So now, this is a picture of periodontitis. You can see the calculus or tartar built up from years or months of not brushing your teeth. This has to be removed professionally and this causes the gums to recede. Now when the gums recede, the bone also behind them recedes as well, giving the teeth an elongated effect. This brings rise to another question, which is, have my teeth become longer? The answer is no. Well, technically it's yes as well, but it's more no. Let me explain why. So, the sensation of elongated teeth is more because of the recession of the gum. This exposes more of the tooth, which before wasn't visible, as you can see here. The important thing with periodontitis and gingivitis is there is no pain. So you will not usually feel pain when you see the blood. So then that means it's important as soon as you start seeing the first symptoms to see a dentist and get a good professional diagnosis. So, as we say, a healthy mouth is always a clean mouth, and a clean mouth is always a healthy mouth, so keep those teeth clean. Thank you very much.